everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping in Scents. Deep breaths. So today I have a body care review for you. Okay, so this is the first time I've done a body care and uh, review in a long time. The last one I did was Into the Night, but I felt very strongly about doing this review on this particular product, which I ordered online, sent on Smelled. Um, and I, I think I got them as free items using my rewards. So anyway, let's talk about Midsummer Dream. Now, as long as I've been buying Bath and Body Works products, I mean, I've had shower gels and, and pro body products that I've loved and ones that I've hated because they've smelled bad, but I've never been in this predicament before where I've had a, found a body product that is actually so heavily perfumed that it gives me a headache. And you know, I was very disappointed. So now Midsummer Dream, it has one of the most beautiful packagings of um, a line of Bath and Body Works products for a while. I love the packaging. It gives you the idea that it's going to be a summer kind of beachy scent if you want a summer beachy scent stick with like uh that papaya cove or uh at the beach or in the sun but this is not a beachy scent this is a super heavily perfumed knock you out give you a headache scent and if you layer it it's even worse now, I like perfume scents. Um, Into the Night is one of my favorite scents. I also like Dark Kiss. So I do not have an issue with perfumey scents, but this is way beyond perfumey, okay? Let's get into the scent notes. The scent notes are Salted Pear, Fresh Nectarine, Seaside Lily. It doesn't smell like anything like that. It has a powdery, heavy perfume scent. Now, on cold, you smell it on cold. It doesn't smell, you know, bad. It kind of actually smells like those things on cold, like the pear, the nectarine, and the lily. But in the shower, in the shower, there is something wrong. So I use the shower gel, right, in the shower. And you know, shower gels, they, they fade away very fast. You use them in the shower. You kind of smell the scent on you for a little while. And then after you get out of the shower, you layer with your lotion or body cream and then finish with your fragrance mist to get your full aroma, right? This scent, as soon as I started using it in the shower, I was like, wow, that is really strong. That is a really strong perfume scent. <clears throat> but then I was like, I didn't think anything of it. I was like, you know what? I've never had this issue with Bath and Body Works before. I've been a heavy Bath and Body Works shopper user for at least, I would say going on seven years and never had this problem, okay? Now, I just used this again. This is the second time I've used it. Now, uh, just to make sure. I can smell it on me after the shower, okay? Last night, I made the mistake of, after getting out of the shower, using some of the body lotion, which made it even more intense. And then, finishing it off with the uh, fine fragrance mist. Let me tell you, this gave me the worst headache ever. I actually, I sleep on my side, like I'm holding my pillow. I could not hold my pillow and have my arm close to my nose because I could smell the scent on me and it was intensifying the headache. So I had to sleep with my arms at my side so that I couldn't smell the scent. That's how bad, I don't say bad, it's not a bad scent. It's just incredibly strong perfume to the point where it's unpleasant. Okay, so it's not the sentence, it's not the scent itself that's 
bad per se. It's just so intense perfume that it gives you this headache and then you, you it makes you not like it. So I am going to exchange this full set. This is the first time ever I'm exchanging a full set of a scent because it's given me a headache. And, you know, it kills me to, to return it because it is so beautiful. I want to like it. I like the, what the scent notes say. You know, I want it to, to smell like it looks. I want it to be a summer, um, you know, scent. I want it to be midsummer dream. But it's not. It's super overly intense perfume. And I especially wanted to bring this review to you guys because I know a lot of you are sensitive have sensitive noses and a lot of people ask me when it comes to certain scents are they heavily perfumed because some people do not like perfumey scents like i said before i do not have a problem with perfumey scents forever red uh mad about you into the night dark kiss all are perfumey scents and all are scents that i really like um, so I, it's very strange to me that this would, this would happen. This is a first, this is a first, especially since, you know, a good comparison is into the night, into the night is a very strong perfume scent, but it doesn't give me a headache. It's a scent that I want to smell more of. This is not a scent I want to smell more of. Okay. Do not be deceived by the packaging. So what I'm probably going to do is I was going to get a full set of a new scent, right? But I think what I'll do instead is I will complete two sets that I have that are missing products. So I have pump, pumpkin pecan waffles in the fine fragrance mist and the shower gel, but I'm missing the lotion. So I might replace this with pumpkin pecan waffles. Then with coconut uh, winter, what is that? Coconut candy, coconut apple, whatever that scent is, I have the cream, but I'm missing the spray and the shower gel. So I might return this set and complete my other two sets. Um, that I already have instead of getting that I wanted to get that what is that sugar cane one that they have out now I don't think I'm going to do that I think I'm just going to complete the sets that I already have so I'm reluctantly giving Midsummer Dream a big thumbs down I can't imagine anyone enjoying this scent if you enjoy this scent let me know um like I, I, I've, like I've said before, I've had scents that I've liked and I've had scents that I, I've disliked. Like Juniper Berry is, I think, one of their worst scents. But this is in between. It's not bad in that it smells stinky. It's bad in that it's just this super, 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 like I said, super strong perfume that just will give you the worst headache. Gave me the worst headache. If you can't sleep with your arm near you because the scent is so strong, and then I was thinking to myself, well, maybe I'll just use each one individually. I won't like layer it and it won't be as bad. So I tried it today in the shower with just the shower gel by itself and just using it in the shower gives me a headache smelling it on my skin now it's not heavily strong like it was in the shower but i can still smell it and it's still i i can feel the headache i didn't want to try it again today i used it yesterday and i had such a bad experience i didn't want to use it again today but i said to myself let me try it again Maybe I was just having an off day, but no, it's, it's just, it's too much. It's too, too much. So I am giving a big thumbs down to Midsummer Dream. Uh, let me know what your thoughts, let me know what your thoughts are. Comment, rate, subscribe, 
follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. I will see you all very soon in a future video. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.